In this video, we will show you how to use the data download tool to download map data for use in GIS or CAD programs. From the Digimap homepage, select the collection you want, then data download. We're using Ordnance Survey, but the steps shown here apply to all our Digimap collections. After selecting data download, you might have to log in. There are five steps involved in ordering data. You select your area of interest, select your map products, add to basket, make your format choice and other options, then request download. You can zoom in on your location by double clicking. Remember the maps you see on screen are just there to help you identify your download area. The maps don't reflect the map data that you will download. There are reference grids you can switch on, again just to help you identify your area. You can select postcodes or national grid squares. You can also try the search where you can use place names, postcodes or ordnance survey grid references. Let's try Cardiff. Just select a place name and the map zooms to that location. I'm going to switch off the reference grid and zoom in a bit. I need to highlight the area on screen where I need map data. There's a few ways to do this. The first option is draw a rectangle. Select the tool, click on the map, draw your area, then click again to stop drawing. We also have a polygon tool if you want to draw a more precise area. The buffer tool lets you select everything within a radius. For example, I might want data that lies within half a kilometre of this area. You could also draw a line and request all the data in a particular distance from that line. I can move or change my areas using the modify options. Other options for identifying your area are to use geographic coordinates or select visible area, which selects everything you can see on the map. Finally, you can input an ordnance survey tile name. With your area highlighted, the next steps are to select your data products and add to basket. Data products are in several different categories. Just click any down arrow to open a category. There are several options in each category. Click the arrow next to one to get more information. This tells you the formats available and a brief description. There's a detailed help page linked from each information box. Check the boxes next to any products that you want. I also want some backdrop data, so let's go into that category. Note that at the top of the Select Products area you can filter. You can select to only see products with an open data licence. Or you could search, for example, for contours to reduce the products shown. The third step is to click Add to Basket. Let's look at the last steps now, selecting our format and requesting the download. OK, so here is our basket. The options vary between products and, of course, between collections. You may be able to select a version if you want to see data published at a particular time. Select your format. I'm going to select DWG for my master map topography data. With that format, I'm asked to select a theme. This just means the cartographic style. For some products, there is more than one style available. I'm going to select plan where the data is in a line drawing style. For my vector map local raster, there is only one format available. I must select a theme, however, and for this product, I want the faded color style. The clip option just means you will get the data for the exact area you chose rather than for an entire Ordnance Survey tile. You can remove anything from the order with the bin icon. When you've made your selections, you can give your download a name if you wish. Now press the Request Download button. You'll see a confirmation window informing you that you'll receive two emails. Click the Download button in the second email to download your data. You will have to be logged into Digimap to click the Download button. Your download folder will have a subfolder for each data product you requested. We hope this video was useful. Please contact our help desk with any questions about your use of Digimap.